Man, they always smash me every single season, you dog. There's heaps safer chemicals than that now. That is ridiculous, that stuff. Say what? No. No. As if. Seriously. Seriously, give it a go. Still sounds like a conspiracy I'll theory. Give it a go today and see what you reckon. Yeah, I don't know. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Rain's coming, Marge. Spring isn't far off and it's basically time to start thinking about putting down an insecticide to prevent bugs and little dirty insects smashing your lawn this year. So today I'm going to be talking about a Celeprin GR which I am very excited about. So the biggest reason I'm so excited about this insecticide is basically because it's going to help prevent um, African black beetle um, lawn caterpillars like um, sodweb worm, army worm, all that as well, and your stem weevil and your argentine scarab as well in your lawn for up to six months, which is ridiculous. Now, previously you might have heard me talk about other insecticides like imidacloprid, imid meridian, um, insecticides like that, which are still gonna have that residual effect in your soil and prevent grubs and other um, pests and insects, apart from, obviously, your um, caterpillars as well, so it's not gonna prevent those, but they only last three months, whereas this stuff, as I said, last six months if you go at the highest application rate which six months is going to cover you for the whole growing season. Now Acelaprin isn't new to the market but the granule form is new to the market so it's a little bit more affordable for us homeowners because if you want to get the liquid form in 750 mils like it's expensive man like I didn't even purchase it that sounds stupid doesn't it? I didn't even purchase it but no I didn't purchase it because it was a bit out of my price range even so this is a bit more affordable um, you can purchase it on my website if you like but it comes in a 10 kilo bag and the application rate for this is 1.5 kilos per 100 square meters. So you're gonna get quite a bit out of it, up to about 1300 square meters. So, you know, it's gonna cover me for at least three, three, four seasons. I'll probably use a Josh's house, so it won't last long, but it's gonna last a while. So another point that I wanna mention is it is a very, very safe insecticide. So it's gonna be safe with your kids around, with pets. Um, and it's going to be safe on the bees as well. So it's very safe in the environment. You don't even have to wear PPE while you're applying this stuff. So it's definitely safe. So as you can see, it's a bit of a rainy day. Um, and this is on purpose. The reason I've chosen to apply it today is because you need at least six mil of irrigation to water it in. And I'm trying to avoid watering my lawn as much as I can at the moment because we've got water restrictions here in orange. Um, so you've got to get that granule down into the thatch layer. So six mil of water will do it for you. Today we're supposed to get around about six mil. So I won't apply it until there's some rain nearby and if worse comes to worse, I'll have to irrigate it in, but that's okay. But if you're trying to um, actually knock down um, something like army worm or sodweb worm, something like that, you actually leave it on the soil surface and don't water it in for 24 hours because those um, particular pests basically sit in the soil surface um, and feed in the thatch layer at the top. So if you've got wanting to prevent things, Water it in. If you've got something that you want to knock that's in the soil surface, like your army worms, don't water it in for 24 hours. It's even got a resealable bag, which is what you need because the thing with this stuff is um, if it gets any moisture in there and you don't re reseal this bag, you're going to ruin it. But have a look. That's a pretty fine prill. As you can see, there it is there. Very nice. And it dissolves down in water pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, it's going to be, that's why you need six mil of water or irrigation to get it down to the soil, but very fine, great to use in a spreader. I'm going to use my Earthway spreader today, but you can use a little Scott spreader if you want. Pretty recommend you don't chuck it out like chook feed because, you know, that's just what I wouldn't do. All right, I'm just going to wait for the rain to come in before I um, shoot the rest of this vid, so I'll be back to put it out when there's some rain here because you have to irrigate it immediately after you put it down, if you want to have that good residual effect and last for six months. I mean, you could probably get away with an hour or two, but do it immediately. Right, so I'm back out here. It's been a couple of hours. It was supposed to get rain an hour and a half ago. zip de doo whoop de pop of rain in the air. So it looks like I'm gonna be putting it down and giving it a, well, I'll see if it rains in later through the day. 
even though you're supposed to water it immediately, it should be okay. Um, and if not, I'll give it a quick water tonight. Didn't really want to do that, but you know, I need to stop those bugs. Honey, bunny, why are you walking away? Baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. Stop and run around, oh, you act like a kid. Like a dinner, puffing now. Um, well, it looks like it might rain. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm really hoping it does rain. The wind's blowing, so you never know, but it has been windy for the last couple of days. But yeah, just remember if you are applying this and you're trying to prevent those insects and you know the pests, make sure you're watering straight afterwards, unless you're trying to stop like your caterpillars, see so army worm, sodweb worm, all those ones like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's as easy as that. That's why I love granular products. Quick to get out, um, not messy at all. Don't really have to clean out your spreader. I suppose I probably should give it a quick water out, but that's, the Celeprone's awesome, man. Like six months control, safe for your family, safe for the bees. Just an all-round good product, and I'm so glad they brought it out in a granular form. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. If you want to grab some of that, jump on the website lawntips.net slash insecticides I'll put a link down in the description anyway you can grab some of that stuff there um, yeah and just thanks so much for watching this video like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I dare ya <laughs> and you have a good week wonder if insecticides are cool this hmm who knows